Welcome back to Wolf Guitars and Gear, where we help you get fat tones from a skinny wallet. Today is going to kind of be a long video uh, where we're going into uh, how to create a preset on the FM9. Uh, this, is this is all because I've challenged Daniel Childs from the Rumblin' Man channel uh, to make two videos, one for a Vox AC30 and one for a Marshall Plexi type amp. And the whole idea is we want to get to a usable sound as quickly as possible, uh, hopefully within 10 minutes. Uh, let's see what we can do today. Uh, just know that it's going to be a lot of clicking around inside of a video editor. So if you don't really want to watch that, that might not be for you. Uh, but if you want to see what it's like to actually work with this inside the editor, then it might be useful. Because uh, after all, that's kind of uh, the whole point of this is to show you what it's like to actually create uh, a preset with the fractal since a lot of people say oh it's so clunky it's so hard to work with uh, it's it's so difficult I don't personally believe any of that so I wanted to prove uh, once and for all that it's it's actually quite easy to come up with some usable tones uh, and so today is just mainly going to be dialing in an amp to get to a basic usable tone as quickly as possible and then from there I'll be adding in all the extra blocks, all the extra things that I want to do to make this preset what I want it to be. And of course things might get adjusted and changed as they go, but you'll get the basic idea of what I'm doing from this and I think that it'll have some value for you. So let's get going. Today we're going to set up a patch for an AC30. And so let's just go ahead and Set that up just like this. Okay, so we got the basic setups here. I'm going to go to quick build. In one at the beginning. Out one at the end. And just to start off simple, we're going to throw in an amp and a cab. And let's do one simple reverb in here. I like to run those in parallel, so uh, let's set that up right here. As you can see, I'm being kind of klutzy. And then we're just going to connect. All right, so we've got a basic setup. Uh, so now we don't need quick build anymore. Uh, we're going to go right to the amp. Uh, there we are. Uh, we've got that all set up. So. I'm going to hit save and now I'm going to do one thing real quick I'm just going to right click here and we're going to set that gain control to scene controller 1 and so now that's set there we're going to jump over to our controllers and we'll go to scene controller 1 and we're going to set up where we want that gain to be so the first one we're going to set up right at 50 and we're going to run six scenes uh, so let's do the next one we'll do 55 60 redo some of these numbers a little bit here Alright, 
because that's all we need because we're not going to wind up actually using scenes seven and eight because I have plans here. So we'll save that. Uh, we're going to name this uh, Vox AC30, scene one, we'll do is clean. All right, I'm gonna hit save and we're good to go. Now we're gonna test it and see how it sounds. Forgot real quick that we need to throw in the cabs, so we're gonna select cabs here. Uh, let's see. Okay, we actually already have this set up with the two by 12 class A 121 off access. And then we have an NTV 30 watt 421. So we're already set up on those. And then for reverb, uh, let's set this up here. Block A, we're going to go with just a basic spring. So let's see, small spring. Where's the large spring, medium spring? Medium spring is fine. We'll do that. And we'll just, like I said, we'll hit save. That way it'll just give us something basic to work with. Okay, so now we're going to add in some other things here to make this a little more interesting. So we're going to go back to Quick Build, and let's go ahead and add a compressor, and let's add a drive block, and another drive block. Let's go ahead and scoot the amp over, the cab over. Uh, let's go ahead and add a tremolo in here, and. I guess we'll, we'll put a chorus right here. Uh, let's take a synth and we'll put it here. I'll take a delay and stick that here. Actually, let's go ahead and put the chorus in here, in line. And we're going to scoot some of these things back a little bit. reverse it on the bottom we'll put a, a reverb first let's put reverb 2 here and then we will 
put delay two over there. I'm actually going to spread this out just a little more. And we'll put an enhancer last. Connect that up. Then let's put a flex block in there. Actually, I'm going to do one more thing here. We're going to put a pitch block. Okay, we don't have enough CPU, so no worries, we'll just leave that alone. Actually, let's, let's get rid of that chorus. The reason I want to put the pitch block in there is because it's going to fatten up that synth. Uh, I still don't have enough, so let's... I guess let's ditch that block too, because we don't truly need that. Okay, there we go. So now we just have to connect up our side chains. Very cool. So now we've got that set up. Now we can go in and start messing with these and setting up drives to what we want. Well, that's it for this week on Wolf Guitars and Gear. I hope you learned something. Uh, I'll go into more in depth on what all I wound up doing because not everything wound up staying as what you're seeing here because things need to tweak and adjust to get to where you want it to be. So tune in next week and I'll show you how this patch sounds on each of the scenes and all the various different options that are included there. I think it's pretty cool how it turned out. I think you'll be excited for it too. So make sure you don't miss that. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, like button, share it with your friends so that they can get some value from the content here as well. Hope you have a great week.